burnout. A very common thing that occurs not only in video games, but in the real world too. And by Google's definition, it's a state of complete mental, physical, and emotional exhaustion. And in simple terms, it's basically when you find it much harder to do things that you normally find meaningful. Now if we translate this into MCOC terms, it's basically when you stop doing Alliance War seriously, when you stop grinding the arena like you normally do, when you stop playing Battlegrounds for the two-day objectives, or when you open the game just to get the login rewards, look around, and then decide to close the game. There's different forms of burnout and it can be directed to one specific game mode, but the point is that it's on a much larger scale now more than ever, or at least from what I've seen. Burnout causes people to stop taking the game as serious as they have before and can even get them to delete the game for at least two days. The reason why burnout is so common in this period of time, however, is because it's the time when the game is trying to go back to its normal state after having a high tide. Starting from July 4th up until the beginning of January, that's the period when the game offers a lot more rewards and a lot of more things to be excited for. Things like amazing offers, new content, and in this period it was Necropolis, and rewards that'll have you foaming at the mouth. The events are good and all, but it also means that after all these exciting things, like getting a free 7-star Adam Warlock, or Sandman, we'll be going months after that having to deal with rewards like these. Which, when you put them side by side, it's as clear as day which one you'd be more excited for, but the fact that these rewards are only days apart, it pretty much means that you're gonna be feeling some type of way about the ones that you get right now versus the free 7 star that we all got. And that's exactly why burnout hits like a truck in MCOC, especially in these periods of time. We were pretty much at an all time high, but now just like this, we're back to square one. And it's not really the game's fault per se, because on special events, it's pretty much the time where they can make the most amounts of profit. But the real question that comes from this is, how do we as players feel, as well as deal with the period after the high tide has ended? Like I mentioned before, most people actually decide to uninstall the game. And this specifically can be influenced by real life events, as well as things that go on in the individual's life. But you also can't deny that it's a good way to calm the mind, as well as return to a normal state of living. Taking breaks from the game has a lot of benefits to your personal life more than anything. Sure, you might be missing out on getting some extra rewards, but it's also good to remember that these things only exist on our mobile devices, and that they are nothing more than pixels on a screen, given value by Kabam themselves. Except for A-Bomb. A-Bomb exists in the real world, right? And so because these are nothing more than pixels on a screen, I don't think it's actually worth ruining your life as well as your mental state over it, but I do think it's important to manage your time wisely and know when to take breaks from all the excitement that you get from the game. But that being said, Kabam just knows how to reel us back in, man. A calendar that gives us 3 free 6 star crystals, 2,000 7 star shards, and a 20% chance to get a 7 star for free. <clears throat> but anyways, that is the end of the video, and I'd like to apologize for not uploading for 14 days. A lot of things were happening, a lot of things were going on, but hopefully with this we're back on track. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to join my Discord group. The link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!